you have to inspire people and, and build beautiful products so that people want to put it into their life every single day. For Supergoop Sunscreen founder Holly Thaggard, one phone call launched her brand to new heights. I left her a voicemail that I was coming to San Francisco and I was ready to sit down and talk. She didn't call me back, but I flew out there with no meetings on the calendar. I was completely broke. And the first night I got there, my phone lit up. It said Sephora. The meeting was a success. And in 2011, Supergoop was on Sephora shelves all across the country. Max Tuckman, founder and CEO of the video chat software Caribou, has a similar story of powering through adversity. Less than 2% of women, two, less than 2% of Latinas, and less than 2% of companies based in Miami get VC funding. So I was like, I'm gonna make this work. With $700 in her bank account, Max pitched her big idea in dozens of competitions and secured over $100,000 in prize money to launch Caribou. Tell me about Caribou. Explain it to someone who hasn't heard about it yet. Regular video calls are just not engaging. The child gets very unfocused and bored and, and leaves. And so what Caribou does is it combines that video call with an in-app library. What's next for Caribou? I always say global domination is next. <laughs>
Sure, Jill, I mean, I think it may sound cliche, but I think passion is so important. I think you have, as an entrepreneur, and I often tell other brand founders, you have to be so passionate about your idea that you literally can't sleep at mm -hmm. night. And then I would also add to that, it's very important early on to establish a very laser-focused mission. For Supergoop, that is about changing the way the world thinks about sunscreen. And so therefore, on the journey, every decision you make, every single decision, can ladder up to that mission. Mm -hmm. It's so funny you said that about sleeping because the other night my fiance, I'm, I'm in a new startup now, which I'll soon announce, and in the middle of the night he said, you yelled out the marketing firm, your interviewing's name. <laughs> and he said, did you know you did that? I said, no. So you literally have to be dreaming and sleeping about it. That's like the barometer for something working. Absolutely. Max, I know you have some tangible resources for name recognition. And I know a lot of people watching like those just like hard, here's what you do. So what are your tips on that? Yeah, when we first got started, you know, we didn't have a lot of money for a great PR firm and I didn't have a lot of journalist contacts, but there's this really great resource called Help a Reporter Out. Uh, I, I think it goes by Hayro, and it's fabulous. Reporters pretty much put what stories they're working on and ask you to pitch them. Uh, so we ended up in Forbes, I think, three years in a row, and we got a bunch of other opportunities, like the Today Show, um, where we were able to, we actually got, because we were on your She Made It segment, uh, ended up raising a million dollars from Leah Sullivan, the founder of TaskRabbit. So you never know the power of PR, and it's pretty cheap and easy to do. I love that update. That was so great. I heard that that happened. So I'm, I'm grateful that we gave you that platform, but it's the product that really counts. I just want to leave everyone with a line from each of you for people out there who are kind of stuck and wanting to start a business that they just have no idea where to start. Holly, I'll start with you. Sure. I think it's so important to really product innovation. You, it, it, you know, it, it cannot be underestimated. If, you, if something's been done already, why bother? Is what I always say. And so, really, um, creating and bringing into the world game-changing product that delivers solutions for the consumer, not so much thinking always about your brand or your product, but what problem does it solve for the consumer? And I think that if you can tap in always to your values, um, you know, be authentic, be real, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's so important to tap into your values with such a changing consumer landscape. That's what's going to keep your brand relevant and that's what's going to keep your brand loved. Know what you know and know what you don't know is just as important. Max, what do you want to leave everyone with? Just for any women, people of color, anyone who has been underestimated, um, I, I think it's so scary to jump in and do something uh, at like a, like a yeah. startup. But my advice is jump in chancletas first. Just hmm. go do it. If you have an idea that you're obsessed with, a problem you really want to solve, you have a solution, you owe the world to go and build that.